fight night. Uh, Makachev against Bobby Green. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the uh, prelims. All right, first fight we have is Carlos Hernandez against Victor Altamirano. Uh, Hernandez is a minus 142 favorite. Altamirano is a plus 116 underdog. Uh, Hernandez is 28 years old. This will be his UFC debut. He's 7-1. and one. He won his last fight by split decision. He has three wins by decision, four wins by submission. Yeah, he has good good pressure and pretty good high volume striking, and he has uh, good grappling. Uh, Victor Altamirano Autom is 31 years old. He's 10. And, he's also making his UFC UFC debut. He's 10 and one. He has five wins by decision, four wins by submission. Uh, he won his last fight by split decision as well. He has a th three inch reach advantage in this fight. Uh, he lost his one loss is to Jared Brooks. And if, it, if anybody knows Jared Brooks, Jared Brooks is pretty damn good. Take he's also an Indiana guy. Uh, take that his takedown defense isn't very good. Uh, but he's man, he, he's a great he's great on his feet striking wise. He opened as a favorite. Now he's a uh, now they have a move to an underdog. Uh, I like Victor Altamirano in this fight. Like I said, I'll give out my official picks uh, on uh, Friday, just that way if anything was to change. I like Victor Altamirano to win that fight. Next fight we have is Ram Ramiz uh, Ra Ramal against uh, Michael Gilmore. Uh, Ramiz is a minus 375 favorite. Gilmore is a plus 285 underdog. Rima is nine and four. He has good grappling. Uh, his cardio is questionable. He has nine wins by, by submission. Uh, he won his last fight or lost his last fight by unanimous decision to Court McGee. Uh, he, he I mean, he's won all nine of his fights by submission. So, it, to me, it seems like unless he get, if he don't get the guy down where he can get into a submission, he struggles. Uh, Michael Gilmore is uh, six and four. He has three wins by decision, three wins by knockout or TKO. Uh, his takedown defense is questionable as well, or is questionable. Gilmore lost his last two fights. He has good striking. He lost his last fight by TKO to. Uh, Petros Andre Petrosky. Uh, remember, Rahima does have decent grapp or does have good grappling. So I th I think that could be a uh, is going to be a big part of this fight. I think uh, Rima Rima is going to be able to take Gilmore down, and I think that's going to be the difference in this fight. So I like uh, Ramiz to win the fight, but minus 35, 375 is a little steep. Uh, so let's see let's see what other uh, Let's see if I can what the double chance is or method of victory. Let's see, double chance. Rahima, the win by submission or on points is minus 280, so that really don't help. You can take by submission or KT or TKO at minus 150. Let's see about method of victory. And get uh, Brahima to win by submission at minus 105. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. I, th I think he's going to submit this. I think he's going to submit uh, Gilmore. I'm going to go by submission at the minus 105. Like I said, I'll give up my official picks tomorrow, but that's what I that's the what I like the best is the uh, by submission. All right, next fight is. Alejandro Perez against Jonathan Martinez. Perez is a plus 198 underdog. Martinez is a minus 250 favorite. 
Perez is uh, 32 years old. He's 22 and eight. He has uh, good volume striking, good wrestling. Uh, he has seven wins by decision, nine wins by knockout or TKO, six wins by submission. Coming off a win by submission over Johnny Eduardo. Uh, Martinez is 27 years old. He is 14 and four. He has good volume striking, good power, good wrestling, real good kicks. He has a three-inch reach advantage in this fight. He has five wins by submission, seven wins by knockout or TKO, and two wins by submission. Uh, I like Jonathan Martinez to win this fight. Uh, if, if I do the minus 250, I'll do it in a parlay. So this, I think this fight would be a real good uh, parlay option. Uh, let's see what the double chance is here. Martinez to win by knockout, TKO, or on points is at minus 210. You know, I think this is going to be a real real good fight. Like I said, I favor Martinez in this fight. Uh, the, at minus 250, I'd probably use it in, like, in a parlay. I think it's a real good, real good fight to use in the parlay. All right, next fight is Perez Zim against Terrence McKinney. Uh, Zim is a minus 128 favorite. McKinney is a plus 104 underdog. Uh, Zim, Zim is uh, 24 years old. He's 12 and 3. He has three wins by decision, four wins by knockout or TKO, five wins by submission. Uh, his takedown defense is questionable. He has a one and a half reach advantage. He's a pretty well balanced fighter. Won his last fight by decision over uh, Luigi Vin uh, Vendramini. Uh, Terrence McKinney is 27 years old. He's 11 and three. He has good wrestling, good power. He has five wins by knockout or TKO, six wins by submission. And he won his last fight by TKO versus, TKO versus Matt Frivola. Uh, I like the underdog in this fight. I think McKinney's power and his wrestling are going to be the difference uh, in this fight. He'll use his striking to get to his wrestling. And then with his, he can go from there and go with ground to pound or, or submissions. Uh, I mean, he's proven that he can uh, submit people. He has six submissions uh, in his career. So I like Terrence McKinney here at the plus 104 on the money line. Next fight we have on the prelims is Ramona Pascal, Pascal against Josiane Nunez. Nunez is a minus 220 favorite. Pascal is a plus 176 underdog. Uh, Pascal is 33 years old. She's 6 and 2. One last fight by TKO uh, over uh, Shamir Kishua. Just her UFC debut. She has one win by decision, four wins by knockout or TKO, and one win by submission. Uh, Nunez is eight and one, has one win by decision, seven wins by knockout or TKO. She has good power. Uh, she won her last fight by knockout over uh, Maleki. Uh, the only question about Nunez is, is her endurance, conditioning, because uh, she just comes out and charges at you. And so if, if you can weather that first storm, uh, then you have uh, you have a chance against her because she slows down in the second and third round. But even saying that, I think Nunez is going. I think Nunez is going to win this fight. I think Nunez is going to knock. Her, is going to win by finish. Uh, so this is another one that I, I would use. You could use in a parlay at the minus two twenty. Let's see. Where you can get Nunez to win by knockout or TKO or on points at minus 195. Uh, I would probably do that just to get a little better odds. Uh, method of victory. You can get Nunez to win by knockout or TKO at plus at plus a, a hunter. Uh, that's what I like here because I think that's how she's going to win this fight. 
is my knock is my uh, knockout. That's what I would lean toward on this fight is Nunez to win by knockout or TKO, and you get that at plus money. You get that at basically even money uh, for Josan Nunez to win over Pascal by KO or TKO. All right, let's move on to the next fight. Last fight of the prelims is Ignacio uh, Bahamandez against uh, Zhu, Zhu Rong. Rong Zhu. Bahamandez is a minus 215 favorite. Uh, Zhu is a plus 172 underdog. Uh, Bahamandez. He is 24 years old. He's 12 and 4. Has three wins by decision, nine wins by KO or TKO. He has a four and a half inch reach advantage, and he's three and two his last five. And he has good takedown defense. Zoo is 21 years old, 18 and 4. Well rounded fighter, four and one last five. Good wrestling. Has 12 wins by KO or TKO, four wins by submission, one win by decision. I think uh, Zhu wins this fight. Uh, Zhu's, Zhu's going to use his striking. He's not afraid to eat a couple strikes to get inside, to get to his striking, and to get to his takedowns. Uh, I, th I think this is probably going to be a good fight, but I don't like Zhu in this fight. I know he's the underdog. I, I would roll with the underdog at the plus 172. All right, that's all the prelims. Uh, for Saturday night. Now let's jump over to the main card. All right. UFC fight night main card. <clears throat> First fight in the main card is our man uh, Petrazine against Gregory Rodriguez. Uh, Petrazan is plus 138 on the uh, money line, plus 138 underdog. Rodriguez is a minus 170 favorite. Petrazan is 31 years old. He's 7-1, has great kicks. He's 4-1 in his last five. He has good power, six wins by knockout or TKO. He won his last fight by TKO over uh, Kalon Kalev. Uh what I like, in, uh, and then you have Rodriguez, who's 30 years old. He's 11 and three. He has great boxing, two inch reach advantage, two wins by decision, five wins by knockout or TKO. He's four and one in his last five, has good wrestling, four wins by submission, won his last fight by TKO over uh, Young Park. Uh, I like Gregory Rodriguez in this fight at the uh, minus 170 on the money line. And also like for this fight not uh, not to go to distance. I think Rodriguez is going to win this fight by finish. All right, next fight is our man uh, Tassarian against Joel Alvarez. Tassarian is a minus 220 uh, favorite. Alvarez is a plus 176 underdog. Tuscurian is uh, 25 years old, 17 and 2, 4 and 1, his last five. One last fight by TKO, TKO over Gallagos. He has uh, six wins by decision, six wins by knockout or TKO, five wins by submission. Good wrestling. He's a well rounded fighter. Uh, Alvarez is 19 and 2, three wins by knockout or TKO, 16 wins uh, by submission. He has a four and a half reach. It reach advantage. He won his last fight by TKO over Thiago Moises. Uh, I like Tessarian in this fight uh, to, win by, uh, to win by decision. All right. Next fight is Gion Kim against Priscilla Kachoria. Kim is 32 years old. She's 9-4 and 2, 3 and 4 in the UFC. Uh puts out good good volume uh striking. Step, uh, so I have a she has four wins by decision, two wins by TKO or TKO, 
and three wins by submission. Lucharia is 33 years old, 10 and four, four wins by decision, six wins by KTO, by KO or TKO, has weak wrestling. Uh, I think Kim's going to win this fight. I think Kim's wrestling is going to be the you know, little bit of the difference. She'll, Kim will get this fight to the ground where uh, she can have a uh, good chance of getting a submission or a finish. Uh, so I, I like Kim at the minus 172 on the money line. Next, we have uh, Misha, Misha uh, Srikhanov against Wellington Terman. Srikhanov is a uh, 34 years old, 15 and 7. Lost last fight by decision. Najako has good grappling, five inch reach advantage in this fight, two wins by decision, four wins by knockout or TKO, and nine wins by submission. Uh, Wellington Terman, 17 and 5, won his last fight by uh, decision over Sam Alvey. Uh, six wins by decision, four wins by knockout or TKO, seven wins by submission. I think uh, Ter Terman's the better fighter on the feet. If this fight goes to the, to the ground and uh, Sergeyev uh, gets a hold of him, uh, Terman could be in trouble. I think the grappling Sergeyev's grappling is going to be the difference in this fight. Uh, I like Sergeyev at the minus one twenty-two on the money line. And then in the main event of the evening, we have Islam Makachev against Bobby Green. Makachev is a minus nine fifty favorite. Bobby Green is a Plus 590 underdog. Uh, Makachev is 30 years old. He's 21 and 1. Good grappling, well rounded fighter. He has eight wins by decision, three wins by knockout or TKO, 10 wins by submission. Uh, Bobby Green is 35 years old. He's 29, 12 and 1. He's a high volume striker. Uh, he has 11 wins by decision, nine wins by knockout, nine wins by submission. Uh, Bobby Green isn't no slouch. I'm kind of surprised that Makachev is this big of a favorite. But I I mean, I, I like Makachev here. I think Makachev is going to be the next champion in this weight division. Uh, but 950 on the money line, just too much. Uh, Makachev, Makachev to win by uh, KO, TKO, or on points is at plus 140. KO, TKO, or submission is at minus 260. So that's better odds. That would be something maybe to use in a parlay. Uh, that's what I lean toward. Is uh, from the win by Kate for knockout, TKO, or submission at the minus 260. All right, that's all the UFC, uh, UFC fights. Uh, on the main card, we broke down the prelims in the main card. I will give out my uh, my official picks tomorrow on tomorrow's Easy Money, a sports betting show, and I'll actually get you know, and I'll also give out a parlay. Uh, I was eight and one on UFC last Saturday, so hoping to stay hot this Saturday.